Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay. <laughs> Definitely get into the energy, see what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> this is definitely gonna be for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, Sun on Rising, North Node, Virgo. I really do Zodiac so I'm feeling spicy for Virgo. Uh, Virgo. Definitely a divine masculine here, divine feminine. <clears throat> okay, make sure you all are subscribing. Uh, turn your notifications so you can know when I go live or upload a video. Okay, here, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, all of that shit. I just, did somebody pull a muscle in their arm or like dislocate their shoulder or some shit? Like I just had a very sharp pain in my damn shoulder. Not this might be you, not since I want some reps or something here. Y'all need to be definitely very careful, okay? I know y'all hard body and all that, but you know, definitely be careful, you guys, okay? So, what's coming towards you is definitely some news or something. Um, somebody is might have got locked up or something right here. You might um, find out about somebody in your family getting arrested or something. That's what I'm truly picking up, okay? Uh, with these cards, I see emergencies here. You have authority here, and then you have coherence. Also with third eye chakra here, passion in the reverse. We let's just do it like this because coherence authority. Third eye chakra. Um you yeah, have passion in reverse, crown chakra in the reverse, realization, which is kind of weird because it's like maybe you you might literally physically see something because with this third eye chakra here. Okay, let me get uh thank you. So alchemy is in the reverse. Then you have magic in the reverse. So something is just not working out. Belief. Uh, somebody is feeling it. Somebody is feeling. It's like, okay, so these these energies that be opposing you all, we, and I hope you guys can hear me a little bit better, okay? Let's see how that looks for you guys. Hopefully that's a little bit better here for your masculine, okay? But um, anyway, it's like, you're gonna be, you're gonna be made aware of something. Um, these energies here, they, they keep circulating in the energy. It's like they won't leave. These 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 people are like sticking around. This energy rather is sticking around. And it's like you don't want to be bothered with <clears throat> really anybody, but it's gonna be something that you see, you're gonna realize, you're gonna believe. Somebody's magic ain't working either. Somebody needs to definitely um Especially if you are beginning in whatever this is. It seems like this is somebody that's just beginning and I'm not trying to throw shade. You need to work on something. You need to redo something here. This could be like a protection. You need to, I don't know what the fuck this is, but something has bad fucking fire on somebody. Okay, this could definitely be a karmic bitch here. You need to do something else. Maybe if you set your intentions on something positive for yourself, maybe it won't backfire on you or something. Maybe the magic is backfiring. It's like they were sensing out the right time to do something and now they're crying. What the fuck type shit is this here? It might be this karmic energy going to jail. Somebody's going to jail for fraud. They're a fucking fraud. It's like, um... These these people keep getting found out anyway. You know, it's, it's, it's not anything new. They they keep getting found out, and you know, the truth ends up coming out about these people. They don't they don't be wanting people to truly know what's going the fuck on right here. I'm just trying to tell you, first, if I'm not they don't be wanting y'all to know. They don't be wanting y'all to know that they're truly, you know, in their head stuck in some kind of way. They don't they don't want you to see that that's what they're truly going through. Which I don't feel like you don't care to see, you know, anybody in a, a, a depressed state or whatever, but that's what this person is in. Yeah, it's like, they, this, this, it's, it's no support here. It's nothing, 
it's nothing else to do in the situation. Somebody has just done too much, is what I feel. Or this is fucking you doing too goddamn much, right? I, it's, it's, it's getting, um, I heard out of hand, you know, because some somebody is just thinking that they're untouchable or something. It's like they, they keep doing stuff to you and they feel like um, they, they can't be touched in a situation. Like, okay, well, you know. I mean, believe whatever it is you feel you need to believe to sleep at night is what I heard. <laughs> Because whatever this is, some definitely getting cut short. Something needs to be cut short. Somebody might be cutting their hair short. But please, this person does not have the gift of shit. <clears throat> this person ain't even got the gift of freedom. This person is getting locked up or something. Okay. Adventures, discovery, travel, meeting, destiny. Yeah, somebody's definitely, I've seen 555. 555, unconditional love you have for yourself, right? You're loving on yourself. You're, you know, you're perfecting your craft. I feel like you're working on yourself and, you know, you're minding your business and what people are doing, that's what they're getting. If you're not paying, you're, you're, you're not paying attention to this for one and you're not, you don't have anything to do with what people do. Your ancestors is not fucking with somebody. Or the ancestors ain't fucking with you. It's like, um, you know, after a while, this, you know, this shit is old to whoever. <laughs> and you got some kind of new love here. Somebody's trying to block as well. This is a jealous family member of yours. Like, this might be somebody that wants your person or something. This person is extremely jealous, but it's you. It's like, but why? Because it's like, this, this is your person. It's not their person. And this is your family member. I guess, I mean, your family knows my boundaries or something here. Somebody's listening in. They're listening in here. Or you, you know, you'll you'll be hearing something. Maybe that's what this coherence is. See, for a lot of you all, y'all are going to just see some old fucked up ass shit. Y'all going to see how shady and grimy somebody is. Especially with that third eye chakra here. It's a new love. It's a new day. It's a new time. You know, um, somebody is not, they don't want to do something new. I don't feel like they have anything to do with you, though. You know, sometimes you just have to close the door and lot, not, you know, let these people have any access to you. <clears throat> because, you know, once you close off that communication, that's when people seem to realize, you know, that's when they start getting their shit. They seem to realize that, oh, damn, I made a horrible mistake. You could have children with this person. This person could have went out and had a child on you. Don't know for sure. You know, but um, y'all got a jealous-ass fucking family member. This person, I heard, would do anything to try to, you know, fill your shoes, take your spot. This person wants your, the person that you're with. This shit real weird, you know, because it's like, out of all the people in the world, why do you just want to find them somebody? It's a lot of motherfuckers in this world, man. The secret path. It's like they they trying to be very secretive here and sneaky. Somebody is very sneaky in your energy. I do want to tell you that you're okay here, fam. Masculine. That's. I feel like a lot of y'all already know this. Somebody is mad with you as well because you did not invite them to your wedding or something like that. Um, family or fucking not. I feel like this is your shit. It's your wedding. You don't have to invite anybody that you don't want at your fucking wedding if their vibes are off. Okay, what the fuck? Somebody truly feels like. You know, um, you're they're entitled to come to your wedding or come to some kind of celebration because you, they're family here, quote unquote, family. They feel like you should um, make them aware of every single thing you're doing so that they can block you off some kind of way. Okay, here that's just what I'm trying to say right here. Family. It's all games that these people be fucking playing, bro. It's like they these folks just really be wanting to be around y'all because of who the fuck y'all is straight up like damn you that infatuated with somebody that you only hang around a person because of who they are committed to and see i mean but it makes perfect sense because y'all are ghosts bro like y'all people you definitely are you're who anybody would want to be with right and like i said it's with who you're dating this whatever this shit is it's about who you're fucking dating this person is jealous mm. my name definitely is jamal or some shit <clears throat> Jamal or Jordan, something like that. There's the power with the mental complete, okay? 
somebody somebody knows clearly you know they're not this this person is not slow they're not stupid they know that you hold all the power you are the boss you are the one that gets shit done and you know this person ain't confused about that they just know you know that's that authority energy that you hold here fam masculine but somebody everybody get their head locked up for something that they did okay and i don't feel like they got anything to do with you it's just probably gonna be some kind of confirmation to whoever this person is <clears throat> somebody about to go to jail this is this person that had been standing in your way all this time jealous and i don't care what it's for you know but they're not decent to walk in your shoes and they're just the fucking truth they don't got the passion they don't have the drive the discipline they don't have any of that and and see where your where your power <laughs> Your power um lies within you being able to, you know, remain calm. You have a very calm perspective about you. First of all, um you're 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 very I, I wanna say you're very disciplined. That's what I do wanna say. You're very fucking intuitive as well. And I feel you go off of what you feel, you know, uh, shit, the way your intuition has literally saved your life. From temptation, you know, from any anything, you're always made aware, right? So, <clears throat> a lot of y'all are about to be made aware of who the fuck this person is, this so-called family to you, about how they, you know, always wanted this person that you're with or some shit. You know, you always having to stand your ground with something that's coming up, and it's like, well, where the fuck is this? Where did this come from? I feel like these folks be playing around at y'all jobs and shit, like. Bro, these folks is extremely fucking jealous. Whomever these energies could be. God damn, bro. You got family members like that. You know, yeah. And they they these cars is coming out in twos. It's just crazy. You know, it, and they're they're hoping these people be they man, this shit this remind me of some old lifetime shit. You can't possibly have nobody that fucking close to you or, or claiming to be close. That bored with their fucking life there. They're trying to steal your person at 1155. They're not recognized for anything. This person could even look. These cars are coming out in twos. It's just like it's, they always want to say so in whatever you're doing. They're not moving on. This person could be involved with somebody as well, but it's like they just choose to be in your fucking business for some reason. Hmm. What in the fucking fuckery was this here? Hopefully, she don't. This 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 energy right here is sitting back watching you win some all the time. They they maybe somebody is having some kind of nostalgia here about some kind of love. Maybe um maybe the person that you're with reminds them of somebody that they used to be with or something. I don't know. This is just some kind of sick fantasy that this person is wanting to fulfill. But it's like they they truly want this. Like they want this shit more than you. This person wants to marry this person more than you. Have a baby with them more than you. What the fucking fuck here, masculine? It's your damn brother. This somebody, somebody is not moving the fuck on here. They're sitting back watching everything that you accumulate here. And that's sacral chakra energy. They're lusting after the person you're with, bro. Right? Or your ex or something. 13, 11, I think. Well, somebody gonna come tell you this. Maybe, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely some kind of mutual friend here that knows something about something that this person got going on. It's like somebody that both of you all know um, and they're going to bring some kind of shit to you. But it, see, a lot of y'all, like I said, you're going to see this shit. You're going to see something. You're going to literally see something and it's going to um, give you the confirmation that you needed for your intuition. You know, something that you had already known. Somebody is going to come out of solitude and tell you something. I feel like once you know the truth about a certain situation here, then you'll be able, you know, to move on and slip in because... You know, you, you're not going to be <clears throat> tied up with these energies anymore. You know, you'll be able to move on. But these people, won't. they're, they're, they're still going to be in your energy field wanting whatever it is you have. Because you keep what? Accumulating. You keep growing. <laughs> you know, and um, you got a lot of people that don't like the way, you know, you do things here. They don't like that you're chosen to do a certain thing and they're not. But see, that's always the case. That is just literally always the case. They're always trapped in fucking fear and scared. Okay, here, May 18th is significant to someone. June 2nd, the 11th. November the 5th. Okay, August 15th. And it's, 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 it's not even, to be honest with you, it's not so surprising. 
it's not so surprising after all because you know these these people be they be like this your whole fucking life and it's like you never noticed this shit hey just because you didn't notice it don't mean that it wasn't there you know don't mean that that wasn't what was going on okay that don't mean that Somebody in this bitch for show love grape Fanta. I don't know what made me. I was craving like right before I got back. I'm at the store like, okay, cool. So I stopped drinking soda. I'm like, man, I want me a grape Fanta so bad. So I don't know which one of you motherfuckers. And he'll love grape Fanta, but I got one cold too. It is so good. That was just a side note here, Phil Masculin, but y'all motherfuckers, somebody in here definitely loves great Fanta, and you are resonating with this entire message so far. Okay, 1555 is what I see. There's some understated income that you're about to receive here, Phil Masculin. Somebody could be about 27 years old. Okay, July 11th is very significant to you. June the 13th, the 25th, October the 25th, the 11th, the 5th, the 7th. February 15th, the 17th, the 19th, August the 25th, the 13th, 30th. Somebody about to be 32 years old. The name is Zachary. Zachary, I keep hearing that name. Zachary Union. Somebody live on Hall Street in Hall County or something like that. Or somebody has a very significant photo of Barack Obama in their hallway. That's this here. Somebody gonna come, let's see, why is he coming to see this? Why is this person coming? That's what I'm saying. Whoever this, whoever this motherfucker is that bringing this shit to you, I'm just trying to figure out why are they coming in and tell you this and now? Like, why now? It's like they're trying to always steal your joy, bro. It's just, this shit is crazy. Y'all cannot possibly be having this much shit going on, but I believe it, bro. Y'all be doing a lot of stuff and it's a lot of, you know, y'all got people hating on y'all in different time zones and shit. Y'all got people who hate on y'all in different dimensions and shit, bro. You just do not understand the shit that truly be in y'all's energy field, you know. And um, people can't let go once they, once people know who you are, what you represent and shit, bro. These people are never able to let you go. They're ne they're never able to get you out of their, you know, thoughts and shit. But see, I was about to say navel, navel base or something like that. Y'all some military motherfuckers, bro. I've been really, I've been attracting like militia motherfuckers around here because I'm telling you um I've um been actually seeing a lot of you know men and women that are in the service and you know coming to uh visit and all of that their family and all that shit especially around excuse me um July 4th you know I was seeing a whole lot of veterans and things like that you know people just basically celebrating their stripes living their lives and shit you know um, in uniform, proud, walking around, you know, with their head high as fuck. Them motherfucking, bro, folks in the military got some confidence on them, bro. You got to. It's like, you know, to, to take that kind of training and shit, bro, you got to definitely be a different kind of motherfucker, a different breed. You know, and anybody that tries to even do anything that you're doing gonna end up in bad health. This shit is like a health risk here. <laughs> this shit is a risk. Like, a motherfucker trying to do the shit that you're well experienced in. You know, you are very experienced in the area. You know, uh, more than one, I do want to say, though, not say an area, but, you know, more than one area here, you're present, and you show up heavily. You show up heavily, you know, being high-ranking here, and um, it's, it's just somebody that always is trying, you know, and this could be your person in this military. I don't know who the fuck this is in the military, but I'm telling you, I've been picking that shit up, bro. I know exactly what I'm talking about, and it's authority energy, too. 
you gonna find out your brother or your sister somebody here with the jail where they about to go. It's like because they, they do us too fucking much. They doing too much, like involving the person that you with or this person that you interested in. Look, I'm trying to tell you, it's family. This person wants some kind of stuff. Bro, I cannot fucking lie. Do what I'm just trying to tell you right here, fam, Masley. Look at this shit, bro. This person is calling judgment. Somebody feels like they need whatever this is that has been gifted to you. And they want to leave you in poverty, but in your mindset as well, though. It's like they want you to feel like you're always lacking something when you're not at all. Like, this person is, like, mirroring everything you do. They want the person that you're with. This person be doing a little low-down shit to try to make y'all break up. This person be sending bitches to you right here, Mexican fam. Your own goddamn sister be sending niggas to you. Because they trying to get you to cheat on this person. What you will never do? Look, what fell on the floor, family? You will never do this. You will never cheat. But I'm just saying, they, they definitely trying to get you to. They're, they're trying to send in people that they feel like is your type or something. You know, and um, ultimately see if you want to cheat or something here. Because they, they want you to. They want you to end something. I can't make this up. This person definitely wants you to end something. Be in poverty. They want to steal something all the time from you. But it's the person that you're with. It's somebody who really don't like that you're with this person. They feel like they should be with this person or something. <clears throat> and they might play it cool, trust me, when you're around them. <laughs> okay, you're this 21, 12, I said somebody definitely, <clears throat> they be playing it all. But, um, I mean, you would think that these people dated each other or something before and they did it. I don't think so. I don't feel like they did. <clears throat> you would think that they dated each other or they know each other or something because of some kind of change here. But something is also about to change because this person is doing too much. They're getting a bit too comfortable and trying to, you know, fill your shoes or something. This person is doing a lot, you know, is what I want to say. Or this is you doing a whole fucking lot, trying to block somebody fucking off from their love life and shit. That shit is real lame as fuck. Okay, it is. This person is working real fucking hard on this. <laughs> Trying to, you know, uh, send people into your life and shit to see if you will cheat. Because this person, whoever this is, they be gone. You know, they're official. This person travels and shit. You know, somebody might be um, trying to break up your marriage or something. Their ultimate goal is to get you to divorce this person is what I feel. I really feel like that. Somebody, it's, it, it, it's your life, bro. Now, it's your own motherfucking family doing this shit. Do you hear? You're official. You got the strikes already. You're a, you're the great fortune. I've seen 22, 22. You're already on your path. And see, a lot of y'all may not even be at the service right now. You might you might not be at the duty right now. But y'all folks got y'all own businesses and shit. Y'all folks got business. And plenty of business about yourself. Plenty of business. <clears throat> and, you, and you will just be surprised to know you got a hating ass family member. A sibling, 2244, I seen whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> you got a person that's right there that you're supposed to be able to trust, you know, and they sitting up here trying to sabotage everything. 2255, I saw. They're trying to sabotage all this shit for you. And whatever this is, it's like something that you're dedicated to, bro. Right? You love the person that you're with. <clears throat> and whatever you got, children, this person could be uh, pregnant here. Your wife or your, your girlfriend here, masculine, could be pregnant. I don't know. But it's like somebody feels like this person belongs to them. This shit is really weird as fucking hell right here. What the fuck? This person don't even got what it takes to be with this person. I feel like this person is with you simply because you got you all are great fortune together. Y'all already have built a bond. And I mean, but even if you haven't, why is this person so goddamn interested in the person that you're with? False person here. High honor in reverse. Main male. This is definitely somebody's brother or their sister or their cousin or something. I heard this shit runs in your family with, you know, um, the men sleeping with each other's wives and shit like that. Somebody's definitely sad in despair. They're crying. They're they're wanting to reach out. They want to see you, you know. I, I don't get why. I truly don't. This, this person is in jail. That's the only reason why this motherfucker wants to see you or they may want you to bind them out of a situation, get them out of a bind, AKA pay their bond or something. I don't know. I don't know why they would reach out to you because I don't feel like, and then too, I feel like it's your family. You would help this person, but spirit ain't gonna let you. This person gotta go through their own karma. They ain't they shit. That's just what it is because they're fake. They gotta get they shit. You can't stop this. <clears throat> and I don't give a fuck because you gotta be expecting a cross, man. Straight up. You gotta be expecting a cross from this person. 
I heard a double cross. This person has done this before with someone you dated. And maybe, maybe, maybe that person was kind of like on the level of this love here. I heard your first love. Yeah, lover's card. <clears throat> this person did this shit with your first fucking love. This person always stood in the way with anybody who dated. 24, 54. What the fuck is wrong with this person? They keep doing the same thing. There's many people out here. It's a lot of people out here in this world. And it's like they keep going after people that you're dating. That shit weird. And they and they keep working on this shit, is what I'm saying. They they work on this all the time and never think about what it's going to do in the long run. Yeah. This person is not high honor. They're not going to... Somebody's going to end up going to jail. They're not going to get out, like, right away. Somebody may think that they're going to just get out. I've seen 25, 25. Somebody may think that they're just going <clears> to <throat> get out of jail or something. Or get out of something like very easily. They might try to even use your name, your name or something, you know, like, oh, I'm such and such son, or I'm such and such um girlfriend, I'm such and such brother or sister, uncle, aunt, cousin, something like that. It's like they're trying to um I mean this and this is this will be something that you are just finding out about it. Like, you didn't know that this person had been literally using your ranking to get out of situations. This person, anytime they would get in trouble, they'll mention your fucking name or something. It's like they were attaching themselves to you. Not saying that you don't love your family, but, you know, the amount of trouble and shit that this person was getting themselves into, they should not have ever been associating your name with it. But that's what they be doing. They, they don't, man, people don't know no boundaries, bro. I keep saying it's the people. They don't know their boundaries. Hold on. They don't know their boundaries, you know, and um these people walk they walk around with a whole lot of confidence in the shit that they believe in because you know they're they're just like, okay, well if I see something this 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 kind of motherfucker right here that you know when somebody gives you a pep talk and they say you can have anything in this world you want you can be anything in this world you want you know this person literally took that and like made it literal like they they see something you got all the time though it's like damn who the fuck I mean I'm pretty sure that mm, well that shit must have went over this person head because they feel like everything you get obtain whatever the fuck that's the same thing but. They feel like this shit belongs to them or they want to do something exactly like that. You might do this. This person, they clearly look up to you, but it's like somebody is very fixated on getting the person that you're with, bro. This shit weird as fucking hell to me. This is it's very weird because like... If they were ever able to, let's just say they were able to attempt this. They would not do shit is what I'm saying. They would never, man, if these people ever were to obtain anything that you hold, they would not know what the fuck to do with it is what I'm saying. So the, the need to want every single thing that you have is, is mind boggling. Because I'm trying to figure it out. They would never do shit. This person would never be able to even hold or carry the shit that you got. But I'm just saying, even if they were able to get access to this here, <laughs> they would fuck up every damn thing. Because they wouldn't know what to do and it'll automatically go right back to you anyway. This person would be calling, begging you to give whatever this is back to you. Somebody definitely pulled a muscle or something in their right arm, shoulder, whatever the fuck. And you'll think like, damn, this your family. They, they, these folks right here be trying to end shit for y'all over and over again. And what I'm saying, look at this. You got death here twice. You got the wealthy man here. This person done set you up and shit. This person right here definitely done tried to set this masculine up to get robbed or something. It's like they were trying to get you out of the way any way possible is what I'm saying. They're going to end up going to jail. Not quite sure for what. It could be like for a DUI or something. Like this person definitely likes to drive high or drunk or something like that. 
And I don't mean feel like you disassociate with that person. You just don't, you know, it's y'all, excuse me, you, you're, you're older and you, you know, your life is just much different. The conditions of your life is just different. You might kick the shit with these folks, but you don't just be hanging around these people like that. Because first of all, I feel like you're always working the fuck. I do. I just really feel like you're always working. I feel like you're always minding your business, bro. Just taking care of your family, shoulder. And it's, it's just one hating ass motherfucking cousin, brother, sister. I don't know people fucking goddamn hell who the fuck this is. I just really know. They're from your past, though. So from back in the day. About this ace of cups. They're so in love. This person is in love with whoever this is you with. Or that's, it's weird as fuck because it's like they got to have this person or something. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Six of cups again from your past. This person be lying awake at night is what I'm hearing, thinking about this person. And they it's like they're broken hearted. I really feel like they it's it's like this person is having a stalker or something about their a person that they dated. It's gotta be something like that. Maybe it's something you don't know. You may not be aware of this here. But it's something very significant about your spouse or whatever. You know, and um this person is Definitely wanting, you know, to be in your shoes. There's the Ace of Pentacles with the three. You know, um, y'all are y'all are doing major things all the time. Somebody wants to take up, you know, everything you're doing. They want to be just like you, like I feel. You know, they admire everything you're doing, but it's like they feel like they can accomplish everything in the world if they got your girl. This is some real Tony Montana energy here, but this person ain't Tony Montana. This motherfucker, not even Tony the Tiger here. This motherfucker weak as fucking fuck. This person definitely weak as hell. You're the star of them all. And see, why they why they don't be understanding this shit for my son? I don't got them, no. Y'all folk definitely is warriors. <laughs> Y'all folk got real war wounds here. Straight up, four of wands in reverse. Somebody doesn't want you to get married or they're trying to break up a marriage here. Somebody is hoping that you fall off. Like, I'm dead ass getting Scarface vibes. I'm, I'm getting Scarface vibes. Like, this person feels like they can do anything in the world if they got your girl. Or your dude. But this is not going to be possible at all. There's the Nine of Pentacles here. This person would be better off on their own. They should never in their life bring this kind of losing ass energy to no one's life and fuck their life up like that. That'll be real fucked up for this person to do. You know, but um, for what I'm picking up, <laughs> this person don't give a damn who they is. <laughs> you know, they don't care. And I'm not trying to talk about your family to them. I'm just trying to say, bro, you so lame this fuck. This person definitely, like, this is not no homeboy. This ain't no homegirl. And it might be, you know, you might consider this person family. It could be a best friend or some shit. I don't know. But they're in the page of swords stalking this goddamn emperor. Literally on both ends, fam. Somebody stalking your goddamn masculine. Okay? Masculine. Somebody stalking your motherfucking fam. Or somebody stalking you. You know? There's that two of cups in reverse. They want to break it all up. Like I said, somebody feel like... If they can get you out the way, and my fiance didn't know, you know, that somebody's ultimate goal is to get your ass out of the way. They just wanted you out of the motherfucking way. They feel like literally, man, I can have everything if I just have this woman. This motherfucker right here that lost their goddamn mind. They're bringing a lot of conflict to you about a person that you're married to. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This person does, they got potential to do whatever it is they want because it runs in your blood. But it's like, bro, what's off limits is off limits. You tripping. They trying to bring all this conflict to you for what? This is some shit you don't even know nothing about. I seen 3344. This, this person got all this secret animosity towards y'all because of whoever it is that you're dating, bro. Whoever you're married to or whatever. Yeah. Thank you. The two of swords, they're refusing. Or maybe they just feel like, you know, this person's good look or something. I don't know. But why would they feel like they have any bond towards this empress? That's what I'm trying to say. This person definitely is getting some kind of, um, <laughs> they're seeking out this devil energy for answers, maybe. Because they're, they're on a very low vibration. They're on a lower frequency than you. And whoever they may be with may not, you know, be equipped or compatible with this, this empress or something. But I don't feel like they should be comparing their girl to yours. 
Why is all the what is the competition for? Somebody's definitely doing moon magic too. Trying to get this empress to be frustrated about you or something. That's crazy. That's crazy here, Masley. Fam, it's somebody trying to get you to be conflicted mentally about your husband. <laughs> what in the fuck? Like, your sister wants your husband, but they sexually are attracted to this person. This person literally could be doing some kind of sex magic. Like, literally masturbating to this person pictures or something. You'll be very surprised, like, what these people can get access to. Like, especially social media. Like, if you got... You know, any following on social media, look, this Queen of Pentacles, your sister, your friend, somebody, they're doing a whole lot of magic on you. Because they they, they want this person that you're with. And it's like they're not going to stop until they get this person. But see, you don't know this. I think 35, 35. You, you don't know this at all. You don't know that this person has this secret obsession for whoever it is that you with, bro. And you'll be like, well, what in the fuck? You know, you'll, you'll literally, and I didn't even know that did. I don't even know how that just happened, but the seven to one, somebody is blocked. I heard upstairs in the shower. Somebody truly feel like, man, if I had this girl, if I had that man, I could take over the world. If I could just steal this person, if I can secretly have a child with them or something, this person weird. This show blood. Like, this is, and it's like they got the eyes to this person, but your person is not sitting them. It's, it's like this person is not worried about them at all. I heard even if you didn't even know who this is that you're with, your person would never even look your sister way, your brother way, whoever the fuck this is, they would never look their way for sure. This person don't got it. It's like y'all y'all are made perfectly for each other. And you got this um hating ass family member here, you know, that's trying to stand in the way of you all, which is weird as fuck. Because like I said, you gon' you gonna see something. You might walk in on this person masturbating to this person or something. Either way, this shit weird as fuck. Okay, here I'm just telling you here. They're not walking away. Like I said, they this empress would never and they fucking might be interested in this person. The fucking hell is wrong with people. And they, but see they sitting around hating y'all and shit, trying to sabotage y'all and shit. Cause of whoever you dating, bro. 37, 37, I seen. They trying to break y'all up every single fucking day. This person is very fucking immature. They're trying to break y'all up every chance they fucking get. And they want to walk, you know, in your place. They want to take your place in something here. But you're highly ranking. The fuck? Your ranking is too high. Somebody is definitely doing too fucking much here. Mm, let me get a couple of these. And I'm going to close out this reading, okay? Yeah, definitely could be a sad cheer. Spell word, bad fire. Somebody is doing a whole life. Like I said, your friend. These people doing motherfucking moon magic, moon spells and shit. There's Instagram. Then I just say that. Somebody be posting pictures on Instagram. This person is doing sex magic or something. That shit is bad fucking firing. We're being Aries here. They're, why are they so goddamn jealous? I don't know. Could definitely be a Pisces. This could be a Pisces here. So we got Pisces energy. We have yes. And then there's an investigation. Like I said, somebody going to fucking jail. Somebody was moving some kind of money around is what I feel. I'm seeing the word presentation. I don't know why, but it's, it's like a, a, a drawing board or shit. Yeah, somebody ain't got a disease and they're losing his fuck right here. Somebody done contracted some kind of disease as well. I don't know what the fuck this is, Aries. And this is definitely an Aries. You know, somebody who's um man, this this, this person is they, they're off their rocker. This person is definitely crazy as fucking hell if they think they were going to accomplish something like this. And it's like they dead ass serious. It's like whatever whatever this person is trying to attain, but they just feel like they really can get this shit. 
Look, something happening in August or something significant about August. I'm better for you. Look, this person, man, this person here definitely been sent back studying, bro. What would Jesus do right here, fam? Not so sure, though, because you really don't want to hurt this person. Whatever it is that you see them doing, you're going to catch this person doing some, some foul shit. I really feel like you're going to see this. And y'all definitely be careful about how y'all re, uh, retaliate. Do not, do not even entertain any negative energy. Somebody's name is Jennifer. Somebody could be a Virgo as well. Could be an August Virgo. Okay. Somebody named Anthony. Okay. But, you know, be careful how you're retaliating. Always trust your intuition, bro. All the time. Because you know something. I feel like you're going to get an like, intuitive nudge, like, right before you walk in on something. Excuse me. Somebody also could be an August Leo. Somebody's time is up for something. It's 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 over. Something is over here. And you might, man, look, I'm just telling you here, fam. So this shit here is very low vibrational. I already feel the vibes. And this deck here is kind of messy. Look, plot fell. Somebody was definitely plotting to do some shit in August, maybe. This person gonna be locked up and filled in or something. They're not going to be able to get out, Jennifer. This bitch, Jennifer, that's the fucking Leo, okay? You definitely change locations or you're about to. Somebody's name is Michael. Somebody's a public figure here. Somebody's a damn energy fucking vampire. You are God's favorite. Eight years of first millionaire in your family. You would also inherit something. Don't be talking about my right and masculine. Who the fuck about you? <laughs> Somebody definitely is on Facebook. They 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 on Facebook, Instagram, all this shit, you know, trying to stop you in this film. Because they're a fucking jigaboo. They're a jigaboo. That was Spirit said. They're a jigaboo. You definitely, like I said, change locations. The Torah fear your God's favorite. This damn jigaboo. That's a Pisces here. This 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 whole Jennifer here, that's a Leo. You know. Somebody feel like um they're better for you, you know, or or um, masculine. This person feel like they're better for your, for your girl or something, or their girl is better for them, or or something. I wish I told you the truth. Okay, somebody is wishing that they told you the truth. This bitch Jennifer here, Jennifer is wishing that she told you the truth about something. Like I said, somebody's a public figure. All this shit is gonna come to the light, Michael. Yes. Okay. Somebody is an energy vampire. I do want to keep saying that. This person definitely will drain all your energy out. What would Jesus do? What would he do in a situation like this? Because a lot of y'all, somebody, somebody even, knows. it's like, some, I don't know. What the fuck this person, what could you possibly catch this person doing? But see, the enemy lost here. And it's all because of the way that you handle something here or the way that you have to. Romans 3 verse 1 it's a Taurus here for sure. Somebody is involved. Okay. This is a twin flame connection. Also, could be a Capricorn here. It's a Capricorn. You are the first millionaire in your family. We know this already. Turn the lights by future. You might turn the lights on and see some shit. Okay, here. I'm just telling you. Somebody is fighting for their freedom. It's a lump. It's going to be a lump sum of money that's coming your way, but it's also going to be a lump sum of money to get this person out of jail. You're winning as fuck. And I, I really suggest that you don't even pay this no mind. Because, like, the the shit that you're doing, bro, you're doing so much more. You don't have time for no low vibration. Let me see what this is. Clarify freedom because I just feel like somebody else is going to fucking jail. I just really do. But it's, it's going to be for a while because it's like this, this person is off the chain. They're doing too much. They're, they're like, literally doing a lot, you know. Look, the Seven of Swords. Like I said, clarify freedom. This King of Wands here. Somebody is going to fucking jail. Clarify uh, freedom. Somebody is definitely going to jail because they keep playing fucking games. They they trying to bring all this goddamn conflict your way, and it's not even that fucking serious. This is whoever this person is. That's who you're with. Y'all love each other, you know. And I don't see why the fuck this person doesn't understand that. What's freedom here? This damn fool. This person is going to end up going to jail for a long ass goddamn time because of some other things that they were involved in, but they're trying to go against the grain here. 
and they're gonna get whatever it is that they're putting out. Yeah. Like I said, the higher fence. That's like an institution. This is like, uh huh, the tower. Like I felt. Yeah. Okay. Here. They got the higher fence here, the motherfucking tower. Then you have the world. That's three major arcana back to back here. The fuck. This is absolutely crazy. What's freedom? It is. Yeah, let's see. This person is going to be left in a five of pentacles here. There's something thrown off balance. This this person does not have any love. I want to let you know that, my friend. This person does not really fuck with you. Fam, this person does not really, truly fuck with you, bro. And that's so unfortunate for them because you're a good person, bro. And they missing out. This person going to have a nerve to call you and need your help. I'm just telling you, maybe this shit is coming out before they bring this shit to you. Before you find out this person get locked up or something. Before you decide to help this stupid motherfucker right here, they got to get that shit. I'm just telling you, the towers here, there's endings with the world card. If you want to be stuck in a tower with this person, then by all means, be in a third party tower. <laughs> but the shit is coming for this stupid motherfucker. Somebody been doing some old illegal ass fucking shit right here. And see, they didn't think. They didn't think that it was going to catch up to them or they thought that they can keep using your name. Or something. Somebody might have literally used your name, you know, could have done some dumb ass shit and used your fucking name here. And you're going to find out about that, Nine of Pentacles. No, this is a seven, sorry, seven of Pentacles. This person had been doing somebody. Did, this person probably did this shit about seven fucking times. Using your name, it's not about your name. But you would be victorious and, you know, recovering whatever this is that this person took from you, energy money whatever i don't know i don't know what this could be but you'll get it right back this person knows they don't know no boundaries bro i don't give a damn family or fucking not it's certain shit that you just don't fucking do and not only did they want the person that you're with but they been sneaky and then doing shit illegally and then using your fucking name for it that's crazy page of pentacles here in the reverse king of wands like i said this person has made up going to jail they're not gonna get out And this person might, they clearly are with somebody. I feel like this person is with somebody already. They're already literally with someone. And it's like, they're really in your business. They're, they're already with somebody. These cards clarify freedom lets me know for sure this person want a motherfucking jail. They going to mental jail while they're in physical jail. This is crazy. This person going to be in purgatory. Yeah. Real quick with the eight of wands here. And it's the three of swords. They were they were trying to break your heart or, or come in and fuck your shit up. And they got their shit for the that's crazy. Somebody could love doves. Doves or like dove soap or something. You could literally only buy dove soap or something. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. Look at that fucking page of swords though. See this, this bro, this this person that did too much shit. Look, the nine of swords. They done did too much. I'm just trying to figure out why they were after this person, Leo Energy, so heavily. Why they were stalking this person. It's like they their wish fulfilled. Like I said, this person feel like they could take over the fucking world with this person. And I ain't gonna lie, this person might got a little more bread than you right here, Phil. Masculine. They might got a little bit more bread, but you know, I don't know what the fuck this is. They might got a little bit more red than you, bro. But it's, it's all, you know, illegal. Y'all know this. And it's, it's something that this person doesn't know about you. You know, you whatever this is, your relationship is secure. I want to tell you that, okay? Because a lot of y'all are fearful of losing the person that you're with. You're not you're not going to, but it's just like, this, this person is not stopping either. But they about to be stopped. Yeah, hey, man, they're going to end up hanging. Straight up, they hung themselves, telling lies and shit. They don't got no chance to speak, no chance to do anything. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Some of you, you know, I'm gonna feel like you're gonna want to even heal from whatever this is, bro. This is like, damn, that was you all that time? Like, damn. Okay. That was you all that time doing this low vibrational shit? All, like, this was you. All that shit was you for this? For an ace of fucking cups? This person is in love. With your uh, wife, your husband, whoever the fuck. I don't know. But they feel like, man, this is my person. <laughs> I, I should have met them first kind of energy. You did. Like, what the fuck? 
Shit real weird as fuck. You know, but see, they, you know, whatever the case, maybe they got, they got this, 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 this shit, you know, this chemical imbalance or some shit. They got to have a chemical imbalance. You know, feeling like this is even possible here because I feel like y'all folks got kids with these people and shit. It's like you've already established a family unit. It's a dynamic here already. Something already solid and firm that you've um, created with this person. And um, like this has been going on for years though. Don't don't get this twisted. This person literally been using your name or some shit. This shit weird as fuck. This person has been using y'all name. Like doing illegal shit and then using your name. Trying to get you fucked up. They want to eliminate you any way possible. They want you to be carrying burdens. Y'all folks is not going for this. <laughs> this person gonna end up getting caught for using your name. Like you definitely got ranking and shit. You got respect and shit. This person really thought like how the fuck this person think they were gonna get away with it? Cause they're family or something. Can't use your name. They can't do it. They can't do that. Oh, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. They'll fix it. They'll fix, they'll fix that shit. My name Jeremy. Y'all definitely be having visions and shit, okay? So, y'all already seen this shit coming in what I heard. You already saw this. You already knew that this was gonna happen. Or you knew something like this was happening. Somebody literally loves the movie Scarface and Fat, but you know, when this when that shit is like relating to your life, then hell no, <laughs> you know? But that, that portion of Scarface can show like somebody literally is uh, like looking at the person you're with, like how Tony Montana was looking at uh, old girl when she was coming down the elevator, and and this person literally they they like they feel in their heart that this person should be with them, like they truly feel this in their heart. They're very determined. They feel this shit, bro. They like no, I got a strong feeling, like no, this is the person I'm supposed to be with. No, you know. And it's like they're not giving up. That sex magic shit, I was dead ass for real. Somebody was doing sex magic on this person's pictures. They're narcissistic as a motherfucker. Or this is you fucking crazy as hell. Freaky ass goddamn Sagittarius here. <laughs> and these motherfuckers crazy. Little church show down intuition here. I'm asking y'all already know what's going on. Just protect your energy. You already know. You know. You're protected as fuck. You know. Y'all know this shit already. This is nothing new. This Aries sure keeps popping up. Okay, here. I don't know if that my friend. This helped you out though. Okay, make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, comment, all of that good shit. Thank you for your support. Very appreciative. Okay, and until next time. Remember, God loves you. And so do I. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.